<laughs> Start over. So yes, oh, on that note, yes. Okay, so new video on YouTube, welcome. <laughs> so new section, part two, part three, part four. So we were just talking about um, people. We call them religions. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? Somebody co-opted something very beautiful, something very sacred, and they stole it. <laughs> they stole it. And they packaged it up, rewrote it, put their names on it, stamped it, printed it, and their paper they stole from the forest. <gasps> there was no paper. There were no books. It lived in people's hearts and souls, bodies, bodies. It lived in people's culture, in the tribes, how they loved each other. Spirit. Mm -hmm. And they stole it. They stopped killing and justice. It was too hard to kill everybody. All those spiritual people that wanted sovereignty instead of an overlord. Who wants an overlord? If you want an overlord, you've been brainwashed too long. You've been in that washing machine too long. Get out. Dig out. You must get it out. You must dig yourself out. You must choose. Nobody can make you. Life will make you. Life will push you. <laughs> it does that. It does do that. And you can blame. You can blame all day and all night. But life will. <sighs> you know. Or you can die in a washing machine. Many people do. Many people die fully washed with the wall. Yeah, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. <laughs> no. It's not a good look. It's just not. It's not fashionable. No, it's not the spirit. The fashion of spirit. Yeah. The fashion of spirit is the heart opening. <gasps> the breath giving, breathing, giving way, and then standing forward, you know? Try. This is the problem. This is what we're missing. You want a prescription? I'll give you my own prescription. <laughs> prescription for life, for love. It's community. So community inside, breath. You can do that. You can replay this video and do this with me. Because I'm a little off in my perfect timing. I don't know. I don't know what's perfect. But I'm feeling it. Do it yourself.
coming back. This is it, the breath. And the heartbeat. Foundation. Make a drum. Get a drum. You are the drum. Be the drum, baby. <laughs> Be the drum. Right here. You are the drum because your heart is the first drum. Yeah. Every cell in your mama's womb was the drum. It's your first drum. And guess what? I'm going to tell you a little secret. You ready? This is cool. So guess what? Yeah, guess what? You also. You also know the drum of your grandmother. Because you were a tiny little egg in your mama's body. And your mama's body was being formed in her body of her mother. So you have your grandma, grandmama, and your mama. Their heart beats. Yeah. Yes, you do. Gary, that's right. So, so many things I've shared with you. But this thing where people, I have talked to people who don't think the monument should come down. The monuments come down. They go, they go, they're down. <laughs> they are coming down and they're down all over Europe here. We cannot have idols to murder us. We cannot. And we can because we have, but it is poison. And I know because I grew up amongst them and I saw what it did to people who I know, who I grew up with, who were born there also for generations. So you either become the thing, you become the tyrant, you become the cruel, entitled, patriarchal male or woman, you know? This is not just a male thing for those who women can carry the poison of entitlement and the poison of heartless consciousness, consciencelessness, lack of remorse. You know? What sickness did Stonewall Jackson have to have in order to make it his duty to lead people to murder people? This is a, a sickness. Call it what you will. We don't have to call it anything except we don't have to label. There's lots of labels. Lots of labels. I might have to restart this because I don't want it to be so long that it won't be saved. How many minutes? So. I think I might do that. I think I might. Oh my god. So, it's an invitation, you know, at any rate. Talk to people uh, who don't um, seem to understand, you know, if you're Jewish, what it would feel like to be surrounded by statues of Hitler and Goebbels and all those extreme murders of millions, millions of people with your, you know, not just Jewish, but mostly Jewish, but also whoever they didn't like. It's incomprehensible. And I've said that to people and they don't respond. That's not, that doesn't get through. So, The telltale signs of mm. 
Christmas. I am so happy that the steel trees are coming down. It's a celebration and we must also, also the murderers of the people who have murdered people must. The police who murdered Brianna Taylor, so many people. Sandra Bland, and for decades, hundreds of years, thousands of years, this has been going on. It's, uh, you know, we're fighting for our black brothers and sisters. They are another ourselves. Our color is not who we are. But for some people, they've been programmed and brainwashed and you know the school books said horrible things about black people so their parents learned that as children and passed it down we are very plastic in our brains we are very um, me um influenceable if we're not connected to our soul and our spirit so it does boggle my mind it's fascinating in a horrific sense uh, but i must be patient and open as well to understand and to hear i don't have to be i don't must be but i choose choose to be i want to hear what people who think that the statue should stay i i'm willing to listen i hear people say the same things very strange things i consider strange there you must watch the videos of these people who've been murdered in the last three months just three months don't even have to go back the last month if you're not watching those videos if you don't want to there's something, you watch at least one. When you see a policeman pick up a young black woman and throw her across the street into the gutter, these are videos. Turn off your television, but turn on your Instagram. Watch the real videos of people that are making them on the streets. These are not lies. These are not doctored and spun. They're not spun. No, they're not spun. <laughs> by mechanical spider wizards. No, they're not wizards. No. It's a system of propaganda. If you're not watching the real, real videos, people on the ground, protesters standing, peaceful vigils, people that are at peaceful vigils and the police gas them. They're holding their babies. They're not doing anything wrong. They're in a park. They're not even in the streets. They're not anywhere. They're illegal. But they want to break it up. So what country are we in? And then there's this war of Democrats and Republicans. This nonsense. Don't go there. It's that war, that's what they want. They. <laughs> okay, who's the they? <laughs> You know, the head and the heart. No, this is not the answer. The answer is to feel and to grieve. If you're not grieving, if you haven't been grieving, See if you can now. You know, watch a sad movie. Something that make, helps you cry. That breaks the wall, melts the wall. Something. Choose, say prayer, just choose. I, and then ask for it to be done gracefully. You don't have to just keep hating ourselves. It takes a lot of love to have the courage. It takes courage. You know what courage means? What does it mean? Come on, tell me. What is courage? Cur. 
But it's curl. Curl is the heart. The heart, curl. Heart, French, the Greek, Sanskrit. It's ancient courage. It takes heart to feel, to have the courage to break down, have the breakdown and the breakthrough. We have the breakdown, not just stay there. We have it to break through, you know? The heart opens. It breaks so that it can feel and heal and love again and love more. It breaks. Excuse me. <sighs> that was soup earlier. That's what I think of that. <laughs> Letting go, right? Just let it out. Let it out. It breaks so it can heal. And it's terrifying because we're going to feel some things that are very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. So, on that note, my friends, I'm going to close. So please like and subscribe. I would be so honored. I'm grateful. Want to get to a thousand plus subscribers? I think I have 489 to go. <laughs> And thank you for my 511 subscribers <laughs> as of today on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Sarah West Love. S-A-R-A-H-W-E-S-T-L-O-V-E. <laughs> so, and then go to SarahWestLove.com. So send me some comments. I would love it. And I'm going to continue. Thank you for the love. Love you too. I'm going to pick up the sonnets in the next video. Maybe. <laughs> we will see. What do you think? Should I do that? So thank you so much. And my heart goes out to you. And I'm grateful for your heart going out to me. It means so much. Community. There's another rhyme. Me, community. Yes, you know, me and community. Community, com, also means together. C O M. Community. So that's what we need. That is the answer. Actually, there's two answers, like I said earlier. It is tribe, community, and it is out breath, inside, self care. Self, self work, working, self awareness. You know, every time we project on another person, look in the mirror, take a moment, what is it about me? And are we standing up for our fellow human beings who need us? The vulnerable ones. You know? Even with our brainwashed states and our complacency and our fear, what can we do? Donate. Donate to Grassroots Law. Grassrootslaw.com. Amazing. Go there. Okay. Love you. Support your friends. Support your artist friends. Support the people who live with, with, from their heart. Share their work. Give them cash. Make them food. Tell your friends about them. Tell your enemies about them, your neighbors, your strangers, your friends. You know? Ask other people to do the same for you. It's so hard, I'm learning. Ask for what you want. <laughs> yeah. It's scary to feel rejected. We just was so bad when we were little. Oh, so bad. But you can do it. We can do it. I'm, I'm learning to bear it. Give somebody the space to reject you. It's okay. But we can practice on our friends. <laughs> Maybe the rejection from them is worse. Oh, no. Personal. Oh, no. Then we don't talk to them again. We get so mad at them. Oh, my God. 
But we have to love them. We have to, if we care about them, the love will keep us connected, even though we're different. We are all different, as I told someone the other day. Ah, oh, what do you mean two sides? There's like a billion sides. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Nobody is the freaking the same. Nobody, nobody. Are you kidding? You're waiting for someone to be like you? No, it's not possible. We are all different. But we can shimmy and dance with each other and make rhythm and music and all our unique instruments honor one another. And respect, self-respect. Self-respect engenders respect of others. If we don't respect ourselves, we cannot, we can't respect others. That's what's happening. So much pain, so much self-hatred. So many bad examples that some people have that are cruel and violent and murdering their fellow human beings and have no remorse. This is a very, very grave, beyond word sickness. It's been going on a long time, but now we have this gift where we get to really see it and it cannot be lied about. So, you know, when your hand is got in the cookie jar, you know, we are so afraid of being punished, terrified, and that's why we don't own our mistakes because we're so steeped in the memory of this horrific punishment and being ostracized and sequestered and maybe locked in a closet or worse, whatever worse is, beaten, made to eat their own feces, chained in a closet horrible, horrible things. Cigarettes put out on people's skin. People do that to the children. I have a scab mark. One of my siblings stabbed me. <laughs> anyway, you know, everybody has their thing, their pain. So it's a shame poison shame that keeps us from owning things. Fear of vulnerability, fear of feeling such loss. So the psychopaths, they're the most afraid to feel their abandonment. It's true. It's very terrifying to feel that root, that root pain. And everybody has a little bit of psychopath in them. I don't know about everybody, but many do. Whenever we disconnect and disassociate, that's the word, disassociate, split psychopathy or just sickness whatever you want to call it it's a mental illness physical spiritual soul body so keep bringing back to the fold keep bringing yourself back to the fold we cannot love one another where we haven't loved ourselves no we cannot mm. Keep bringing it back to the fold. Keep bringing your love. Everywhere where you create a wall, just notice. Notice where the wall comes up. Just notice. Breathe through it. <sighs> Give it words. Give it language. Label, understand, name it. Not label it to keep it a law. Label it to give it a voice. And keep letting it, let it evolve. It'll turn into another label, another name, another voice. Listen, let it speak to you. Let the walls speak to you. They went there for a reason. It was protection. You were trying to cope. So have some compassion. 
you know? There's a time and place to feel the weight. We will all feel the weight, my friend. Uh, in case you're curious, there is no one, no one, no one who doesn't get to see the movie screen of their life. I know. I know. We will all, we will all see the movie screen of everything we have done that we don't remember. Every little thing that we, oh, I'm not gonna look at that anymore. No, 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 it never hides. It is not hidden by myself. No, it is not hidden. Okay. Like and subscribe, man. Send me a comment. Thank you, my sweet peas, my loves, my sweet gorgeousness. I love you. Breathe. Love yourself. Bye. <laughs> Tune in for the next segment of Being Human. I'm gonna hang up this guy. Thank you. Thank you so much. So grateful. Let me know what you like. I really love the feedback. It helps me want to keep doing it. You know, it's the sharing in the community that means a lot. It otherwise, you know, it's a one way. I want it to be two way, three way, ten way, billion way love affair. Oh my god. Yeah, just throw the the, the water out of multitasking loves <laughs> 8 billion people. Why not? Right? Let us all love one another. What else are we here for? If we're not in love with one another and loving one another, what in the world are you next to someone for? <laughs> we're with them because we love them, right? And then the ones we find it hard to love, well, those are wonderful learning experiences. Sometimes we say no, goodbye forever. And then sometimes we go, oh, maybe, maybe I'm learning. <laughs> and we just keep asking, what is this for? <laughs> okay. With all my heart, thank you so much. Thank you. So grateful. <laughs> Let us all improve together. You improve inspires me. Perhaps something I share will inspire you. And that will inspire me back. Because what else are we here but to inspire one another? Inspire in spiritos, Greek. Inspire means to breathe in God, breathe in the divine, breathe in the eternal, timeless, spacelessness. <gasps> Space, emptiness, freedom, love, eternity, which is our home. It is our home. Bye. Mm -hmm.